Hey YouTube, it's Tams the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I got a bit caught up with work there, so I'm a little bit behind again, but we try and catch up now, and we got Witch Casket next week, so let's try and get back on board. So, talking of boards, <laughs> um, as you can see from the title of the video, it is Vision Boards and Boxes. So, I love Vision Boards. Um, we'll talk about what it is in a minute in case you don't know. Um, but again, you can get a little bit carried away. And if you've got very limited space, I've got a better idea to keep it smaller and more space saving, if you will. So I actually make vision boxes. Um, so let's just discuss a vision board. Now, you don't have to be a witch or a pagan or Wiccan or spiritual or whatever <laughs> to make a vision board anybody can make a vision board <coughs> it's dreams and things that you want to achieve for the month for the week for the year new job new this go on a nice holiday just money to pay for stuff buying a house whatever it is new mountain bike new car um be a better artist, be a better singer, whatever it is you put on your ball. Now, some people do these for like the month. Some people do it like a year. And then at, back, at the end of the year, they go back and they research, you know, they go back and they search for all their different things they put on the board and see, you know, what, what the outcome is. So I usually made these for like a couple of months, all depending on how long things took to manifest so um yeah it's kind of a bit like spell work in witchcraft um you can make a vision board for absolutely anything you want or it could be a hundred things on the board but i like to try and keep it simple when you send your intent out into the universe if you've got too much going on i know even for a year i know people do it but i like to do mine for a month or two and perhaps not have too much on it so a vision board is usually made on a board. It can be made on a bit of cardboard. It can be made on a bit of paper. It can be middle pages of a diary or it can be made on anything, but it's called a board. When people usually make them, and you'll see from the thumbnail, it, it's supposed, you know, that's just a, a free picture I've used, but you can see all the different bits on it. And basically people make great big ones. And the first one I made was so big, it wouldn't fit on the altar. It had to stand on the floor. Um... And I always remember the first one I did because I really wanted a new mountain bike and they're really expensive to get a pucker one. And um, I was trying to, you know, do well at work. And, and so that was on there. And I had a picture of the bike and um, the mountain bike shoes I wanted, which, you know, at the time, were like, they were a couple of 300 quid. And I really wanted them. And everything was on the bold. And it wasn't greedy. This is what I say with spells and money orders and things. Apologies, I have a massive box behind me. I'm trying to hide it in my big head. Um, it's all my artwork. I've took it out of the drawer. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's not being greedy. When people say, oh, like, you know, yes, of course, um, people want to put happiness and joy and good health and all that on their boards, and that's great. But you might be doing this for a purpose, for just, like, one or two things. It might all be related to money, or it might all be related to getting your house decorated or moving in and renovate it doesn't matter what it is it's all about your intent and what you put into it so whatever you put out into the universe it creates it manifests and you get back just like within just like a spell um so basically your board can be as big as you wish it to be so living in a small house and being somebody that gets very carried away vision boards got bigger and bigger and there was nowhere to put them. So I kind of stopped doing them, which was a shame. And then I came up with the idea of kind of condensing it down and making a vision box. And I found the perfect thing. Um, it's one of those photo cubes. Now, the first one I used was bigger than this. It was kind of, um, and it was actually glass. This is Perspex. And it's, um, I can't get into it now, typical. Um, there we go. So it's literally the boxes inside that you put all your photos on. Obviously, this was a pound in a shop called One Below, which is like the pound shop in the UK. This is just a cardboard box, but it also opens like a cardboard box. Now, this is very useful. We'll come to that in a minute. So, you know, they're just the pictures on the box of somebody, you know, family pictures, whatever, whatever. 
the idea it's a photo box you put photos on it put it back in and you can move it about and see all the different photos you know it's just a cheap just a cheap little item you know and this was my idea so this is even smaller than the one i made i spotted these the other day and i thought absolutely perfect absolutely perfect for a vision box you can sit on the side and you can also fill the box up with things crystals herbs more intent you could have anything in this box you could have a big list that pulls out like a jack-in-the-box on like a concertina paper you could do anything you want so a few ideas um for vision boxes um as as you do on your vision board you choose what you want to do so because it's only small um you know you've got your sides to put pictures so let's say and you don't have to use pictures they don't have to be pictures of you you can have pictures from magazines like just for instance i took my husband's mountain bike magazine if you wanted a new bike and it's in here i don't know let's just say you wanted this santa cruz bike you could cut that out and stick that this is what i did <laughs> on the, on the vision box just as you would on a vision board um and if you wanted promotion at work and that was something that was going to help you achieve that bike, which is, you know, a ridiculous amount of money, about £10,000, I think that one. <laughs> um, you could put your work's address. You might not have a picture of work, but you could put your work's name and something about them. And that could be another side. Um, if you've been, you know, depressed or you're suffering from anxiety and things like that, you could put perhaps a little even a little envelope and you could write in it and then no one could see that if you was you could do that all round. if you didn't want people to see what you've put in your box you could put little envelopes right down and stick them inside so it's only you that could see because you'd open them up and look nobody would even know it just looked like a white box there's so many things you can do um you know if you want to lose weight you could get a little envelope or just have it inside the box you know when you fold like a concertina paper you glue one bit to the bottom and it pings out like a jack in the box you could write your weight loss on it and what you want to get to if you're trying to change your eating habits perhaps you want to go vegan perhaps you've been vegan and you want to go back not being anything anything you want you know anything if you want to become more spiritual if you want to be a better witch if you want to be more creative in magic if you want to be more creative in your artwork you could draw a little picture of your studio or your some paintbrushes you know what it means it doesn't matter if it doesn't even look like it you know what this bit here means and this bit here and what this bit's for it's yours it's all to do with you and you know what it all means so this is a way of not getting too carried away and having like a massive board with so much going on and especially if you're new to it just like with a spell you could open up your box this is a bit flimsy inside, so you could put tin foil in the bottom or a bag and you could put in, I always think, especially with wealth and things, you'd have rosemary and you'd have aventurine um, and jade and pyrite, which is fool's gold. You could put all those things in there. Um, I don't like to asking to win the lottery, but representation of money, you could photocopy money or I suppose it's your box. You could put some real money in there if you wanted. Or you could just use a lottery ticket um, and, you know, this is not a winner. <laughs> I didn't even get two pounds. But just for the, just to you, you know, bringing in the money. If you're bring, you wanting to bring in money, you know, just poking little things that mean stuff. What about, say, you're trying to stop spending money? We all like shopping, don't we? So what about getting the month's worth of receipts? That's just a sports direct for my husband's work shows. Getting all the receipts that you've spent. You could fold them all up and put them inside the box with a little note to yourself on it. Don't buy anything next. No, buy anything for the next two months. Save the money. You know, anything you want. You could draw a big bag of money, you know, because um, you're trying to save. Perhaps you're saving to go on a Caribbean holiday or go to Disneyland. Whatever it is, you can put it around your box inside your box and then when it's all decorated and filled up you could have little notes you could actually write a spell of your intent um and if you don't know what intent is it's you put your intent into a spell and you put your intent into a vision board or a vision box 
your intent goes in and it sends it out to the universe and that's how we create that's how we create magic you know that's how we conjure okay so as witches that's what we do if you're not a witch and you're not pagan and perhaps you're a completely different something into something else and you don't want to use those words don't use them but you still do it the same it still works because you know we're all witches deep down we was all pagan once so anything you want you know if you want to become a better athlete then put a little drawing or if you can find a picture or if you've got a photo of you doing something you want to be a better horse rider you want to buy a horse you want to buy a new pet you want to save up and get a new dog anything new pair of shoes <laughs> no more shoes anything you want into the box okay so look up your crystals research your herbs you know i've given you some ideas there for some money anything for some fast money get the money flowing the same sort of thing as that you'd have on your money altar you could put little handfuls and things um if you want quiet time you just want a bit of peace if you've been through some rough have some lavender have some rosemary some lavender um some patchouli um protection if you're uh, you know if you've been in a bad relationship and you need a bit of protection and this is about new beginnings, new beginnings. Um, that's another idea, complete new beginning. Perhaps you've gone for a divorce or something like that. New beginnings, you know, you might get a bit carried away. And there might be a lot of things on it again, but um, quartz crystal. Quartz crystal works for anything. If you don't want too much going on, just a piece of quartz, you know. If you want to become more in tune with your third eye, maybe you want to communicate with the other side, whether it be deity or with, you know, the spirit world. Um you could put in amethyst, amethyst and quartz crystal. Um, if you want to be braver, if you want to take more chances, Labradorite. Anybody that works with the goddess Morrigan knows that Labradorite is strength and courage and it it can get you through some really bad times. You could put Labradorite in your box and all the pictures of the things you want to do to become who you want to be. Um, even if it's just a basic, basic box and you want to get the rest of your body tattooed and it's the goal for the year to finish the tattoos, put the pictures of the body parts that's left all around the box and fill up, fill up with your abundance. Keep your money flowing so you can pay for all your tattoos. It can be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, it doesn't have to be anything magical. It doesn't have to be about health or goodwill or happiness or peace. It can be something you want and it's not greedy it's your box you can do what you like with it so once you've done it all and your intent is in there and obviously you'd sit and you'd hold your box or your board and you'd put your intent in and i would then fold it down and i would sit it back this was just a pound like literally out of one below the pound shop type shop put it back in its little box you've put your intent in um some people like to sage the box first. I didn't say that, I forgot, sorry. Give the box a sage to get anything, you know, negative off. It's been sitting in a shop. Or you could re-sage again or sage it at the end. Whatever you want and you pop it on your aura. And, you know, a month, two months, if you wanted to do a bigger box, you could have a year, you know, if you had certain goals for the year and see, see what see what happens because just like with spell work it doesn't happen overnight you know people get stroppy and go oh my spell's not working it's been three days give it a chance they don't all happen fast sometimes it takes months i had a spell that took six months once six months and then it bang it it, it done it because it always will but you just have to get there and sometimes it don't quite happen how you think but it still gets you to that point so you have to be patient as well so yeah magical wonderful intent in a box takes up no room it's little it's light obviously if you've got breakables in here don't do what i just did and throw it, about. it is just plastic sadly it's plastic i did have like a proper proper light one that felt like it was proper glass and it actually opened up and you put photos in it and that's what i was using but this is just great you could have two or three going you could have one on your money or you could have one somewhere else you know, as, as long as they're not next to each other. If they're in the same room, fine. But if it's on something else, like perhaps money altar or your goddess altar, if you're trying to connect more, you can do anything you want because that's witchcraft and paganism. And it's, you know, and, and any other spirit trait, you can do what you like. It's the, it's the joy of it. But, you know, if you're a new witch and you're trying to learn all of the witchcraft and the magic and the moons, it is a little bit overwhelming. Use a vision box to help you 
achieve everything you want to learn. I hope this video was interesting. I've tried to keep it as quick as possible. Um, I hope, let me know, let me know, have a go. Let me know, um, let me know what happens. You'll, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, and yeah, if you just want to stick to the traditional vision board because you can get more on it, do it. And I still do. It's just in this tiny house, I cannot have a great big massive board. But yeah, they work fabulous. And it is exciting, especially if you're an arty person, you can go to town on that board, you know. And it can be anything, anything you want. It could be a board or a box just for one thing. If all you want to do is buy a house, then you just get get things to do with that. The more people who you want to get the mortgage off of everything, splatter it over it and then get your intent and send it out to the universe and see what happens. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll be back soon with something else. And of course, witch caskets coming next week. So, yep. Yeah, see you all soon. Have a great weekend. Ta.